Madden 25 gameplay. Haven't done one of these yet this year. We'll see how this goes. Um, I really don't like this game. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like this game at all. I don't like what they did with defense. I feel like they basically broke defense. But we're going to try to do the best we can to get a stop. And uh, we're going to play some Madden. So I am rocking dollar on defense. If you guys want my dollar defensive ebook, it's on our school community. I'm rocking Colts on offense just because it's easy. If you want the Colts ebook, it's on the school community as well. A lot of ebooks come into our school community too. So if you guys are not subbed up to that, it's only 10 bucks to be a member over there on school. And it gets you literally it gets you access to everything that we do. So you get all the ebooks, all the all the offensive, defensive ebooks, all the updates to it, everything uh, for just 10 bucks. And I'm rocking this double safety defense. We're doing some kind of unique things out of this. So we'll kind of cover it. We'll get into that some as this gameplay goes on, but we'll see how this kind of goes. Defense is absolutely broken as we get a pick first play. Praise God that we're pay, playing my man Neely Vray for. Um, this is probably the worst I've ever seen defense because the problem with defense in this game is there are some blitzes. They're not, like, amazing. Uh, most of the blitzes can be easily blocked with just a blocked running back on the left side of the screen. The other problem uh, with defense, though, is that the zones, like, there's the zones are terrible. Like, I've never seen a worse year for, for like, underneath flat, like underneath hook curls. I don't know what a hook curl defends. I literally don't know what a hook curl defends in this game. So, anyway, my rant on this game might uh, – I'm going to take a break from ranting on this game, but we'll just get into the gameplay. But I'm not a big fan of what they've done so far. Hopefully the patch saves Madden. I don't know. Uh, this is probably the – I will say this one last thing about the game. And I've been, I've been thinking this, and I, I've wanted to say it. Nobody's really been talking about it, to be honest. Madden 25, a lot of people are going to try to tell you that this game is different than college football 25. The main difference, honestly, is tackling. Like, the same skill care, the same ball carrier moves are pretty much the same. Like, the spin and the juke are the best. Hold right trigger. Steer it with the, uh, with the left stick, right? That's, that's, that's one example. The other thing that's, that feels really inter very, very similar is blitzing. Blitzing, for the most part, is very similar to college football. The major difference being you don't have quick jumps in Madden and you do in college football. So every blitz is made better by quick jumps. And then the last thing is the switch stick. Uh, switch stick, to, to a degree, is very similar to college football. Um, it's a little bit – I think the switch stick's a little better in Madden, a little, more, a little bit better – but I don't see a whole lot different on it. If I'm being dead honest, I don't see a whole lot different from Madden to college football. The main thing is just mainly being like quick jump. Uh, quick jump is literally why you could like actually play some defense. And I think just in general, Madden is just a little bit more um, – not, sophisticated is not the I – think, I think the word you would probably use is competitive. Like it's a little bit more like – it's not as fluky. Uh, from what I've seen, that being said, which is why offense is so much more powerful. Um, the main reason offense is more powerful in Madden is because of quick jump and because of the lack of fluke. So pretty much you just have a lot of consistency across the board for the most part. Now, this is probably – I say that, and this is probably the most inconsistent game I've ever played. Um, a blitz will work one time. You do it again, the blitz won't work, stuff like that. But in general, you know, the meta Madden is double mug. In college football, it's double mug, you know. The only and, and the only reason why Penny was meta was because of quick jump. So anyway, I'm gonna leave that alone. But I just want to say this on record: like here we are, you know, super early in the Madden season. This game is very similar to college football 25. I know they they did a lot of stuff to say it's it's gonna be different. It's very similar. Um, the movement is slower in Madden. You can say that's a good or bad thing. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Drop picks are still the same. You can throw right at people. I mean, it just, to me, uh, the abilities, I think, are better in Madden. I'll say that. Like, with, with, without, without quick jump, but like set feet lead, pass lead, elite, that stuff, that stuff's insane on Madden. So, I mean, the, the bottom line is they're very similar games. Uh, the, the same, I think it's really interesting that the same stuff works in both. So, like, double mug works in both. Uh, this dollar stuff I'm doing works in both. So that's, that to me is what I'm looking at as far as like a similarity or difference. Whereas like the movement, yeah, it's a little faster pace, but I don't know that that really, does that really change anything? You know, I don't really know that it does. So anyways, I'm going to leave my, uh, leave my thoughts off and we'll just get into the gameplay. So why dollar? 
Um, I think Dollar just gives you the most amount of tools. I say this every single year. If you're going to play good defense, you need tools. You need tools. Um, and tools are pressure, coverage adjustments, man-ups, alignment. All of those things matter. Um, and so I just think Dollar, to a degree, gives you the most amount of tools. Like, you could play – there's not a great defense in this game, okay? A lot of people say double mug is good. Double mug is probably – and I have a full ebook on double mug on the site – Double mug is okay. The biggest issue I have with double mug is it's just so random. Like, I feel like one game it'll be good. The next game it'll be terrible. So throw the ball to my man Peppers. We're rocking a little Jets pass seam team. But, yeah, I think, I think Dollar just gives you the most options. Um, when you get Dollar to scream, it screams. I think it gives you three different blitzing options. You have A-gap threat. You have edge pressure threat. It's the best variations of different types of send five, so you can do a lot of different send five looks. So, anyway, that to me is why dollar. But there's not a great defense in this game. Uh, a lot of people think that they're going to patch double mug, too. Um, a lot of people think they are going to patch that, that defense as I get shedded. The one thing I will say that is kind of interesting about this game I think the sheds might be my like this could be the year for a shed D. If there ever was a year for shed D, it would be this year. I still don't think the shed D is competitive. Um, but like match is kind of good as I fumble. Can we get it? Can we get it? Nope. Match is kind of decent. So like a B nog shed D isn't. I don't. I don't hate that this year. Um, this four three over is actually kind of crazy good. I have an ebook on that on the site as well. So if you want to run Shed D, I'd go 4 3 over, honestly. I think 4 3 over has got the best um, sheds. So that's a hard flat, by the way. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like this game, I don't know what, I don't know what anything guards. Like I, <laughs> I, uh, there's just no way to cover anything. That's the biggest challenge with this game. It, it, blitzing is, is a definite issue. Um, the fact that there's literally no pressure, so you can just stand there. That's one issue. But issue number two is what you just saw. He throws right at a hard flat, and it just nothing happens. There's no consequence, and we just do it again. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you just scored. All right, so we're off to a great start here. We got our stop. We got two stops, actually, I think, because we were on defense first. My 4-3 over just got absolutely shredded on the inside zone. I don't know how. I also don't have the best team. I will say that, too. Um, right now, early on in mud, I feel like your team does make a big difference. Like, if you have good players, as the year goes on, it's going to be a little bit, uh, I don't know, it won't be as bad. as it, it, You still want to have a good team, but it won't be, like, as big of a deal because you'll be able to, like, rank up by winning. And I feel like right now, some like, some players are just not usable. This Chris Johnson card is probably the best card in the game because he has these uh, really good jukes and spins. But yeah, I don't know. How you guys feeling about the game? Let me know. I, I really don't like this game that much. I'm not going to lie. Um, main reason is because I, I don't really – I don't really like offense being this easy. And I feel like this is just – I mean, look at that. <laughs> um, people are trying to act like there's some kind of crazy glitch with that spin move. It's literally just hold right trigger – just like is, and that's the thing I'm trying to say. Like, it's just like college football. You hold right trigger, you steer it inside with the left joystick. Like that, you. It's just very, it's very similar. Also, an underrated similarity to college football 25. I don't understand how spe like special teams has never mattered more. Like the the amount of like we'll just show you like this. I did a tip video on this. You could do like a scum kick, I guess where you, like, aim this all the way down and try to get it, like, half, like, like, like just like that, basically. Um, that was very close. It doesn't, doesn't always work. It depends a little bit on your kicker. If you mess up, as you see, you get a big return. But, like, special teams to me has never mattered more because if you think about it, I might jump into this 4-3 over just for fun. I'll show you some cool stuff we are doing out of this. I did a video on this. And the way he's playing, this might actually be kind of fun to do. All right. Also, I hate these camera angles changing like this. Look at look at this. I can't change my camera. There you see that it's disengaged. You see the shed? See what I'm saying? I think this defense could honestly be decent. Um, just a basic send four uh, shed D. Double mug is, like, double mug has some value for sure. 
when you're talking sheddies and stuff. Let's see if we can kind of. Well, inside zone is it? How does this kill four three over? Look at this. That's got. <laughs> This is this game. This is this game, man. This is this is in a nutshell why this game is terrible. Like what just ha I I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what to tell you that, that what I don't even know what happened to me. I'm in 4-3 over. He's in Trey Y Flex. He runs inside zone. Is that Sim? Is that Sim? I don't know. If there was a bubble attached to it maybe. Yeah, th this game is this is something else, man. This is something else. He just ran inside zone for like 60 yards and it just scored like it was just that easy. Like he just called inside zone. Why would you pass? Why would you pass? Now, low key, I, I actually do like one of the things I do actually like about this game. I don't think the run game is as good as it's been in the last couple of years. There are some parts of the run game that are really good. I actually think just the basic inside zone out of any formation is really, really good. Uh, so just like you go to bunch strong nasty here, doing something like this where you're running from one side, this is a pretty good inside zone. Uh, I just feel like the inside zones they do get good blocking in this game. Like you saw what he just did to me. Um, but other than that, I don't feel like the run is that crazy, even though he just scored. Like, I feel like this has been one of the, one of the years where I don't really feel like, like you have to have any super crazy run D. So you're just going to give this up every time. Look at that spin move, though. I almost got out of there with CJ. I do think Colts – I'm really interested to see how this game changes with patches. I, I'd be curious to kind of see what they do if they do patch things. The only thing that I can think they're going to patch – I don't – like, I, I guess they put out a – Put out some kind of like informational post. Also, this is a, such a bug. At the end of every quarter, it just like takes you into a, some random like your number one formation in your playbook, instead of just keeping you in your main formation. I hate that. You know, it's just like little things like this. To me, I, they just really do make a really big difference. Look at the flat zones. Look at the flat zones. Like, how are you supposed to guard a flat route? I think there was like Madden twenty two. In Madden 22, this was a thing where you literally had to put, like, your flats on zero yards. You could not guard a flat route if you didn't do it. Like, that's, that's what we're at. Like, look at this. That's manned up, just nothing. You just can't guard it. <laughs> like, the basic way you're going to have to play defense in this game, in my opinion, is you're going to have to play, like, a cover two. Like, cover two. The, the only thing that will be able to guard it is, like, a hard flat from a cover two or a soft squat probably. And you're going to essentially just have to put the outside thirds out there. I really feel like that's what we're, we're kind of shaping up. Look at this. They're just never going to guard it. That's man up. He's manned up. I'm getting, I'm getting 15, 20 yards on just a basic flat route. Like, this isn't – he's just never going to guard it. We'll see if he just keep – maybe he's just – maybe man coverage is just not good. But, you know, you see here. I actually really like Rodgers. I think Rodgers – I kind of like playing with Rodgers. I'm, I'm actually – another thing I like about this game. So, I kind of crapped on – I, I kind of definitely, like, you know, said my piece about, you know, what I thought about this game as far as, like, what's bad. But now let's talk about, like, what's actually decent. The thing that I do like about this game is um, I like that – I like when Rodgers does have a good release. I really like his release a lot. And I think in this game you're going to see – like, you saw it in the regs tournament – his release is pretty good, and uh, it's pretty much the clear-cut best. Now, when you get past the lead and stuff, it's going to be even crazier. Put Gunslinger on him. Um, but, yeah, just get in there with uh, Rodgers. Let's go for two just for fun. Try to get a two-possession game. Actually, this is not really a good time to go for two because it's before half. And I think I get ball to half, too. But there are some things I do like about this game. Like, the stem stuff is kind of cool. Uh, not the stem glitch. A lot of people don't. I don't really like that, um, the, like, the speed burst glitch thing. I did post how to do it pretty much just because everybody's posting about how to do it. So I wanted to make sure my followers didn't, you know, not, not be informed. I don't love that that's in the game. They'll probably – see, this is what I'm trying to think is, like, what are they going to patch? I think they're going to patch, like, the stem glitch. They'll probably patch double mug. Outside of that – I don't know exactly what I think they're going to do because they did say that they've heard the community's feedback about zones being bad. So hopefully that you would, you would think like, I think what's going to ultimately happen. This was kind of what happened in Madden 22 because this was an issue in Madden 22. 
They basically made flat zones better, like you could actually play hard flats, but they didn't really change a whole lot. I really feel like that's where we're going to see. Like, I feel like it's going to be something like that where they're going to change, like, some little little tunes and stuff, but I don't think they're going to wholesale change stuff. I really don't. Um, the, the last time they actually did wholesale change, I want to say it was Madden 18. Um, that they that they did some wholesale. Look at that. That's a. Oh, I don't know how that doesn't guard that. All right, we might need. We might have to be back in this. How would I run double? Let's um. Let's just for fun get in this here. Nickel dog three. Look at that. Look at that. That's send six. I totally didn't get my setup in though. I might just have to get back a dollar. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I might get back a dollar. Get out of the zone drop D. Uh, I will say another defense that is actually decent this year is match coverage. Match coverage is probably the best it's been uh, in a long time. Let's see if we can get a little four man pressure here. I'm trying to get this blitz to work. Is that open? Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what they're gonna patch. Like once they patch double mug, it is gonna. I think it will. What'll be really interesting is when they patch double mug to see if that um, if that patch changes how edge pressure works in this game. As of right now, the only like good other blitz, and I wouldn't say it's like a great blitz, um, but the only good actually. Let's see if we can get this to come in here. A little four man up the a gap, yeah, buddy. To me, this is this is why I run dollar. Um, it's the only good other blitz other than double mug, and there's a lot of ways to use it from a coverage perspective. So if you can just get a little bit of pressure in dollar, I feel like you're pretty much good. I do think, you know, like overload three seam, uh, hot blitz three, these two plays are really good together. Uh, you do have a cover four draw. Like, you just have some good coverages. Like, you could go – the other thing is they added match into this game, you know, so you could run some match coverage if you wanted to. So I actually feel – I just feel like dollar is always, like – when defense is bad, you pretty much you want to be in dollar. Let's see if we can get pressure here. Should be able to. A little four man, not there. Switch stick off the wrong guy, and we get the stop. All right, we're straight. We're straight. We're straight. But yeah, I'm just curious to see what they patch in this game. Also, notice that games take a lot longer. I think it's because of five minute quarters. Um, I feel like you're basically basically. I feel like it almost takes like twice as long as last year. You throw that. I saw Skimbo do this. Uh, basically, just seam streaks is pretty much what he does on offense. Pretty much every play. Rocket catching is good. Like, I just don't know what what tool does the, outside of switch stick. And switch stick is like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about switch stick. I don't really love it, honestly. I just feel like it rewards bad defense. But there's some strategy to switch stick. I just feel like it's not like. I think what a lot of people are trying to do is they just say basically sit in like a, a cover three hard flat shell and then they switch stick on the flats. It's fine. It's whatever. But there's a reason that like most comp players, when they sit down to play this game, if you have a comp player playing another comp player in this game, it's going to be like 42 to 50. Pretty much every game in the regs tourney was 42 to 50. And, you know, they're doing that on like four or five minute quarters. So to me, that kind of shows like just how bad of a state defense is in. And, and I, I just truly really, I just have never seen it this bad. This is like wild how bad this is. All right, let's just run. Shoot. Oh, scream. A little scream play. The thing about double mug is it does get you decent. Like the the, the one thing that's really good about double mug. Let me get this back. Fix it. We'll actually run some double mug here. The one thing that's good about double mug is it forces them to block their running back. If they and, and sometimes it does come in even if they do. But if they don't block their running back, this thing's gonna scream. Can we get that? Let's go Revis. Spin. Juke. Yeah, I think the juke's the best. Um on a if you if you can spin, the spin's probably the best. And the crazy part is like, see, this is what I'm saying. I think he's out of here. We'll leave it there. But you can still spin on a conservative just like you could in college football 25. So I think there's just a lot of similarities. 
between Madden 25 and College Football 25. Wanted to get a gameplay video out. Let me know if you guys enjoy watching the gameplay stuff where I'm just kind of like breaking down some stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll keep posting every day on the channel. For ebooks, make sure you join the school community. Haven't lost a game in Madden 25 yet, so check out the school site.